Hi everyone, it's Sunday night and I have intended to do a vlog about a birthday party we all went to this afternoon. It was very much fun. It was a minion party of a good friend of ours and that was just a fun party and I took some cute pictures and I was going to put that together. But things, as usual, in life can go awry. And when we got back from the party, we went and got the groceries and came back and we did TV dinners for tonight. So we just microwaved everybody's individual dinners. And then tonight was a lunar eclipse, so we went out in the car and drove to the local levee so we could go up and see if we could see it, which we couldn't because it was cloudy. And then we came back and everybody came inside and we were going to get ready because it was about 7.30, so it was about time for them to take their showers and baths. And we forgot to chain the top of the door. Our house came with a deadbolt and a regular lock, but it didn't come with um, a chain. We added that ourselves because one time Aurora let herself out and was out playing in the playhouse on the front on the patio, and we didn't want her to get out. So once we figured out she could do that, and she's two, and she won't say anything, she just did it, we've chained it. But um, we're human, and we made a mistake, and we forgot to chain it. So tonight, about 7, I would say, 40, I noticed that we were getting the bath going for Aurora and Diego. She had gone off, and Diego had gone off, um, and Coda was filling the bath, and we were going to give them a vapor bath, and the other kids were going to start their shower routine, and John was gathering up the stuff so that they could, you know, get changed after their bath and everything, that Aurora was missing. We couldn't find her anywhere in the house. Of course, we spent a minute or two, whatever, John went right outside to look for her, and I and the kids were looking around in the house, and he found one of her toys out front um, on the sidewalk in front of our van, but she wasn't on it, and that told him, since we had just gotten home and it wasn't out, that she had been out there, so we knew she had gotten out, and we could not find her. Literally, I knocked on my neighbor's door, and she was knocking, knocking, and I asked because they had gotten home just the same time we were, if maybe she'd gone in with their kids, or they'd seen her, but they didn't, so they started looking, and I ran down the street and talked to the neighbor at the end of our street, because um, we're on a pretty long street, and he hadn't seen her, and he said he'd been out for about half an hour, so I yelled to the neighbors that I saw, like, kitty corner across the street from us, if they had seen a little girl about two years old in a nightgown wandering about, and they hadn't, so I didn't think she'd gone that way. Um, John ran down the other end of the street and didn't see her anywhere. And then he went around, because there's a park, so he was going around around the back end of our street. It kind of makes a, a loop to see if she was there. In the meantime, another neighbor came out, and we told him we couldn't find her, so he got in his car to drive around and look. Other neighbors started strolling around. I sent Savannah out. Berkeley stayed inside with Diego and Brighton, but I sent Savannah out, Travis out, and Aurora, not Aurora, and Dakota out kind of just to look for her, you know, like going down side streets just to see, because um, we're on a more longer street, to see if she'd gone down one of the side streets. We couldn't find her anywhere. It took about 20 minutes, and I mean, literally it was time to call 911, etc. We just could not find her, and um, a neighbor found her and came walking. I saw him walking with her, and she was just, like, holding his, he was holding her one finger, and she was just kind of walking with him. And uh, that was about six houses down, and he had found her. And, oh my gosh, what a scary thing. I don't know if she, you know, why she went out. It was bath time. She was really excited to take her bubble bath. You know, she and Diego were excited to take it. I don't know why she went out. I don't know why she rode her little elephant and then left it and went somewhere else. Maybe she had heard other kids. Maybe it was starting to get dark and she heard other voices and we didn't know she was out and she had closed the door behind her. So I don't know. But at any rate, the good news is we found her, obviously. But it was a high-stress evening, to say the least. And um, everyone's overtired, exhausted, stressed out still. Except for her, she's fine. She's gone to bed with the girls, watching Frozen, and um, Brighton's already asleep for the night. Almost all the kids are out for the night, but oh my goodness, it was just, I don't know why she went out, but she did. So that's our story of the day, and I'm going to yell out tonight and hope that tomorrow is a better day, and <laughs> we 
instead of a picture of the heavens, you get a little story about Aurora Wonder and Walt. So that is our Sunday evening, and I will catch you guys on the flip side Monday morning.